Hey guys, I'm back with another video and I thought today I would talk about three different codes that are all somewhat related to one another. Uh, the first is a code 77, the next is a code 70, and finally a code 14. Uh, let's begin by defining each one of those codes. So a code 77, uh, this is a screenshot from the rulebook which is uh, available online and this is listed under other errors. This is the code 77 here. The errors for deduction for code 77 is for a long time balance kept motionless for no more than two seconds. Uh, next up is the code 70, which is here under loss of balance. The errors for deduction for the code 70 are for the upper body swaying, shuffling, or skipping. Okay. Uh, thirdly, let's define the code 14. This is under balances, under quality of movements. Code 14 is here. This is for the cross leg balance, also known as the Kotwe Ping Hung. And the error for deduction is for the thigh of the supporting leg not being near horizontal level. Okay, let's uh, now dive in a little bit deeper and talk about those errors for deductions and the requirements for each of those uh, three deductions. First, what is a long time balance? Now, how do we define that? Uh, basically, a long time balance is anything that is referred to as a ping hung. So, so in the rule book or any documentation on forms, if you have a movement called a ping hung, that is defined as a long time balance and must be held for two seconds. Uh, most commonly, an optional changshun, that would be the kotui ping hung, which we are going to talk about again as a code 14. Uh, first, the kotui ping hung is a required movement in an optional changshun form. So here we have a, a table, a screenshot taken from the rule book. This is for the different events across the left and across the top. These are the movements that are required. So here is changshun here and the Kotui Ping Hung is a required movement. Because it is called a Ping Hung, it is required to be held for two seconds motionless. Here's another screenshot from the judge's course book talking about balances and how to calculate the duration of a balance. So uh, here we've got calculation of time begins when the movement stops in a static or motionless state. Uh, what does that mean? So in terms of a Kotui Ping Hung, if an athlete begins crouching, begins dropping down into the Kotui Ping Hung, right? the judges do not start calculating the time until the athlete comes to a complete stop. So if you lift your left leg up and you begin to drop into a Kotui Ping Hung, as long as you are moving, the time does not stop. Okay? Once you've dropped into the Kotui Ping Hung and you've stopped moving, then the judges begin calculating the time. But how do the judges calculate the time? We do not have a stopwatch or, or any kind of timer. Uh, this is from the course book again down here, it says uh, counting method for the movements that require a time limit. It says 1 plus 1, 2 plus 2, 3 plus 3. What does that mean? That means that internally in the judge's mind, we are supposed to be counting 1 plus 1, 2 plus 2, 3 plus 3. Okay? This is kind of similar to us saying like 1001, 1002. Just a method of counting to give us an idea if, if that two second time requirement is met. Let's uh, talk a little bit more about the code 70. Upper body swaying, shuffling, or skipping during a balance. Uh, what does that mean? Okay, here is the uh, judge's course book defining a sway. So a sway is defined when the upper body sways in two different directions. Uh, what does this mean? So if, if you're in a stance or in a balance and the athlete loses balance, in, in order to correct himself or herself, the upper body sways in two directions, either left or right, forward or backward or in a circular motion, this is considered as a sway. Uh, next up is the shuffle. A shuffle is defined when the supporting foot moves laterally. So uh, in a single leg balance, that when the base foot is on the ground, if it pivots or slides, right, if it pivots either on the ankle or on the toe and it moves in a lateral uh, direction, this is considered as a shuffle and this would be uh, deducted as a code 70. Finally, we have a skip. Uh, this is defined as when the foot leaves the carpet. Okay, so if I, I'm in a Kotui Ping Hung or any, any balance and I take a hop, right, and I skip, if the, again the foot is moving but because it lifts off the carpet and comes back down, this is defined as a skip. So again, we've got a sway, a shuffle, 
and a skip. All, uh, any one of those would uh, result in a code 70 deduction. Okay, now, finally, let's define the code 14. This is for the Ko Tui Ping Hung. Uh, wh what does near horizontal level mean? Uh, in, in early interpretations of the rule book and, and at the world championships, I know that some athletes were told that if the thigh of the supporting leg was below 45 degrees, right, between 90 degrees, which would be horizontal, and 45 degrees up, that that was defined as being near horizontal level. Now, currently, for the most recent years, the interpretation of this rule means that the thigh must be nearly at horizontal level. It is, if it is visibly like above horizontal level, this opens up the door for a code 14 deduction. Okay, so now that we've talked a little bit about the code 77, right, long time balance being held for less than two seconds, the code 70 for the body swaying, for the foot shuffling or skipping, and for the code 14, the Ko Tui Ping Hung with the thigh being uh, at horizontal level, Let's take a look at some videos and uh, <clears throat> try to apply what we've just talked about. Okay, so let's take a look at this Kotwe Ping Hung. This, look at her thigh. The thigh of the left leg, which is the supporting leg, clearly at horizontal level. She, this is a very low Kotwe Ping Hung. Here's another one. Okay, uh, a little bit different angle, right? Let's uh, talk about the thigh of this athlete. Okay, how do you define if the thigh is at horizontal level? Now, we're not actually looking at the, at the, the outside of the thigh or the muscles of the thigh. We're trying to make an imaginary line from where the kneecap is until the hip bone. Right? So we're not looking externally at, at the muscles of the thigh. We're looking at the internal structure. So try to imagine if we're making a line from her thigh to her knee, is that at or near horizontal level? <clears throat> In this case, I would say yes. Great Ko Tui Ping Hung, very low. Again, also very low. Okay, this is a little bit better camera angle. You can tell that the athlete's thigh is horizontal. Well executed. Okay, now let's take a look at a few more Ko Tui Ping Hungs and try to apply some of the things we've, we've learned so far. So one, <coughs> the 77, that the balance must be held for two seconds with the two seconds beginning once the athlete comes to a motionless state. We've got a code 70, which is applied if the upper body sways or if the base foot shuffles or skips. And then we've got the code 14, which is the requirement of the thigh being at or near horizontal level. <coughs> So let's look at these next videos with that in mind. Okay, so, so what are we seeing there? Uh, this is actually covering something that I, I didn't just talk about. Um, as you notice, when the athlete begins the Ko Tui Ping Hung, is <coughs> lifting up the left foot, immediately touching it down, and then attempts the Ko Tui Ping Hung again. So what is this? This is a loss of balance, but this is not a code 70. This is a code 71. Okay, here is the code 71. This is a deduction also for loss of balance for an extra support. What does extra support mean? Okay, if you are in a single leg balance, right? You're balancing on one leg. If your other leg, which is raised, comes down and touches the carpet, this would be extra support. I should note that the code 71 is a larger deduction than a code 70. It's a 0.2 deduction, whereas the code 70 is a 0.1 deduction. So let's go back to the video again. Okay, clearly does not hold the balance for two seconds. As you, as you notice, he's going down, looks like he's about to lose balance and he immediately comes up. So this is a code 77 for not holding the Kotei Ping Hung for two seconds. Okay, what are we seeing there? Let's take a look at the angle of her thigh and let's decide if it's at horizontal level. Okay, so that's about as low as she's going in her Kotoi Ping Hung and I would argue that the angle of her thigh is too high, right? Visually, I think this is not at horizontal level and result in a code 14. Uh, okay. Similarly, it's not being held for two seconds. 
right? So that would result in the code 77. Also, if you take a look at how low he goes on the Kotoi Ping Hung, uh, I would say that that is also not at horizontal level. So this athlete is opening the door for a code 77 for not holding it for two seconds and also the code 14 for his thigh not being at horizontal level. Okay, let's take a look at this athlete. He's going down, loses his balance and comes back up. Uh, what is that? <clears throat> this could be a combination of, of three deductions, but let's talk about two that I think are clear. One is the code 77. He's not holding his balance for two seconds. Two, if you notice at uh, the lowest point during his Kotoi Ping Hung, it is not quite at horizontal level. That could be given a code 14. Now, could it be a code 70? Now let's take a look at it again and see if we think that his body is swaying. What do you think about that? Let's take a look back at uh, what a body sway is. Okay, as I talked about before, the body sway is if the body moves in more than one direction, that's left, right, or forward and backward. Okay, let's, let's keep that in mind and look at this video again. Okay, is that a sway? I would say that that is not a sway and this is why. Is that when the athlete begins to lose his balance, he begins leaning in one direction, but comes out of the balance, right? So he's leaning in one direction, comes out of the balance. If his body is only leaning in one direction and not two, that would not be a sway, okay? So even though he begins to lean, I would say this is not a sway. All right, what about this one? The quality of the Kotui Ping Hung is good. It appears that she's holding it for long enough, but as you'll notice, as she's dropping into the Kotui Ping Hung, she loses her balance and there's a clear sway of the body. There, right? Her body goes left, she corrects right, comes back into center. This is definitely a sway. So in this case, the Kotui Ping Hung is fine. So she's not getting a code 14. She's holding the balance motionless for two seconds, so that's fine. No, there's no code 77. But on her way down, because of the sway, this would be a code 70. Same thing there. As the athlete is dropping into the Kotui Ping Hung, she sways. Let's take a look at this again. She sways also. Did you, did you notice what her foot was doing? All right, that could also be a shuffle because she's pivoting. Her foot is flat on the ground, but she lifts her ankle up and slides it a little bit horizontally. This could be a, a code 70 based on those two things, sway and the shuffle. Also questionable as to whether or not she holds that for two seconds. Uh, okay, <clears throat> let's switch gears a little bit. Let's move away from the Kotui Ping Hung. The code 77 and the code 70 apply to other balances as well. So we're going to look at compulsory Changchun. This is for women's um, and see what uh, we see here. All right, so she's going up into the balance, attempts the balance and then comes out of the balance. <coughs> Definitely holds it for less than two seconds. So this would be a code 77. And I think I've got a scoreboard here. That's a code 77. Okay, went into the balance, did not hold it for two seconds, code 77. There's another athlete, same form. All right, what did you see there? She goes into the balance, drops out of it, so that's a code 77, not holding it for two seconds, but what happens when she's up into the balance? That's a sway, and her foot pivots, right? We've got her scoreboard after this. In here, we've got the code 70 for the sway and her foot shuffling, and the code 77 for not holding the balance for two seconds. I, I wanted to end this video by talking about uh, how these rules, the 77 and the 70, 
is applied to older forms with the Junior World Championships coming up. We have the older compulsory routines. So uh, let's take a quick look at these. This is the first compulsory Changshan. So in the first compulsory Changshan, even though these forms were composed before th this rule book was printed, uh, because this is considered a ping hung, this must be held for two seconds. So any athletes that are preparing for the Junior World Championships, and if you're doing this form, you must hold this for two seconds motionless. Uh, same thing goes for the compulsory straight sword, uh, this form. This is considered a ping hung. All right, so according to the rule book, long time balance, it must be held for two seconds. Uh, I, I wanted to also bring something up that I have a question about. Uh, I'm hoping that some other judges or some coaches can chime in on this. Uh, this is the elementary Jenshu form, which is also going to be part of the uh, Junior World Championships. And I have a question about this move. All right. Is that considered a ping hung? Uh, I don't know. Uh, if this is considered a ping hung, it could be judged according to the requirements of holding it for two seconds. And this is a difficult move to hold for two seconds because of the way that the, the athlete is required to go into it. You, you hop, you skip from one leg to the other immediately into the balance. Now, I think if you are a junior athlete or a coach of a junior athlete, uh, you should be asking questions about whether or not this move is going to be judged according to the requirements of a long time balance. Okay, I know I talked about a lot of stuff in this video. Uh, if you have any questions or, or if anything's not clear, please feel free to leave comments. Um, I hope this was helpful and uh, I'll look forward to making more videos in the future.